Hi, Cancer. This is your tarot reading for the month of January um, for all Cancer signs, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I always try to throw out there that if you're just coming to the channel and you're watching, whether it's the astrology videos or the tarot videos, if you're watching it for Venus and a sign, I'm typically talking to you more about sensitivity than love. Because when I deal with... um the planets and everything. Venus for me is more along the lines of sensitivity, whether it's positive or negative, than <coughs> actually along the lines of love and what that means when you bring that sensitivity into your life and where it is going. Now, for you guys right now, you have a lot of emphasis going on with relationships in general. I'm also getting whether it's relationships or maybe memberships that you're part of, like the community, the group, the friends, um, and those forms of relationships, as well as what are your ethics, your morals, and these relationships. And is there grief, sorrow, shame, and blame in them? And then what is that doing to you? But I'm also getting financial success coming in to you and to the community if you are in your power and standing in things in the right place. But this has to do with if you're, you know, finding your path yet on, you know, bringing that enjoyment in life, bringing that enjoyment to that financial success. It's dealing with karmic lessons as well. is coming with illumination within these relationships and if they are actually filling you with love and joy or resentment and grief kind of situation what is your true self-realization and your true spiritual urges within these relationships is what i'm mainly getting as we're over as we're coming into the month of january for 2020 i'm also getting um Throat chakra. So this has everything to do with the proper communications at that time. Let me see what, and, and I'm being told your uh, self-worth, your self-value, your self-esteem. Do you feel liberated within these relationships? Are they healthy for you? Is basically what is the main thing of what I am getting. Let's see what, I don't even have to ask. Um, let's see what the cards have to say. This is my, where did I throw it? This is my Thoth deck. I try to remember to show you guys what deck I'm pulling. I never know what deck's going to be pulled until I turn around. They're giving me also a lot of your subconscious and your secrets are coming forward. Let me see, what else? Considering that one just decided to come out. Tell me more about the platform. Tell me more about the platform. Tell me more about the platform. For the month of January for Cancer Signs. And when I say Cancer Signs, this also has a lot to do with the energies. Because some of you are rising Cancer. Some of you are... Our moon cancers, like I'm a cancer. Everything in cancer for me has to deal with my emotions. Rising would be more of how you're seen because this is the way that you're coming out to the world. And then if you're an actual cancer sign, so that would be the illumination going on with you. So that it would also make a difference as to what house we're talking about for you. Now... First off, the very first thing out is the hangman. But you know what? That's a good thing. If it's coming out first, that's a good thing. This just means that at the moment you're standing still and you're learning some lessons. You're learning some lessons. You're kind of like like the quiet mouse. You're, you're standing behind. You're paying attention. You're being observant. You're learning some lessons. So this is, you know, you're not trapped, but you may feel stuck at the moment. But that's because you're figuring out the next moves. You're figuring out the next moves for yourself, for your spiritual life, for everything that has to do with you. This is part of, like I said, the very, the central 
energy that's going on. But it's coming in with the Princess of Discs, which would be the Princess of Pentacles. And this is, uh, um, for one, it's the Yi Tree. The Yi Tree is um, birth, death, and transformation. It is, it is the, uh, speaking to you of letting the death happen so the new birth can happen. So it is a birth of new ideas that's coming from while you're sitting in this hanged man position. It is the transformation. It is the following the will and the brand new purpose, finding the immortality of the shifting change. So this is a definitely good thing, but you're also in your emotions because you're getting the queen of cups. So you're in your emotions, but this is also a healing card because she is the empath. She is the queen of love as well. So this is speaking to you in um, development of making these changes from an emotional and a spiritual point of view. This is um, getting in touch with your own self in one form, getting in touch with your inner healer. It is finding your intuitive, natural healing abilities so that the queen of love and the queen of the empath can come forward in this transformational change all because you've been taking this time to figure out spirit just said what your creative expression is and that's very important your creative expression helps you to be liberated in being who and what you are and where it is you want to take your life so this is actually a very good pivotal point for you um yeah the only one that's coming forward is this one so you go back this would be my light and dark tarot just coming forward put you over here can you give me any clarification or tell me what i'm missing for cancer You are getting, well, that's very good. You are getting, first off, what it would be, would be the Nine of Cups. This is inner peace coming with the lovers. So this could be a new relationship. This could be rebirthing of a relationship with new healthy boundaries, new honest observation of those relationships but this could be you coming back to yourself and i really feel like this is you coming back to yourself but it could be you coming back to yourself in a relationship as well because like i said relationships are all over your astrology right now this is finding satisfaction with yourself and your life and the changes that you are choosing to make so things look like they are going very positively but i am saying i am being told pay attention Pay attention to the partnerships. Pay attention to the partnerships. And I lost it. Okay, be, pay attention. Okay, what I'm... Pay attention to the partnerships. But what I'm getting is the law. Like... What are the rules of these relationships? Pay very close attention to if the rules of these relationships, these partnerships, memberships, the community that you're having anything to do with right now. Pay attention to what the rules, walls, the boundaries are in them. And are they, you know, joint effort? Are they really, truly joint effort, joint resources, joint finances, depending on the situation? Are they fair? Are they balanced? Because... And spirit says, for some of you, that's definitely in the business arena. <clears throat> because that will help you to know if you're going in the right direction or not, according to what that balance is. And for some of you, the spirit is saying it has to do with spouses and money. With that being said, some of you, it also has to do with whether it is bringing your prestige forward. Anything else? Or I'm going to move on to up close and personal. Pay attention to the rules, the laws, the boundaries, the joint efforts, finances, resources within the relationships. But also pay very close attention to does, does it match your goals, your wishes, your ambitions? 
because if it doesn't, then it's it's a key sign that it's something that should be changed. Your moon, your subconscious. Your subconscious, like I said right at the beginning, your subconscious is your uh, secrets. Uh, it's like, in a way, your 12th house. It's your um, subconscious, hidden self, your karmic debts, your self-deceptions, your grief, sorrow, shame, blame, your secrets that, that you keep hidden in the closet. Is it healing this? Is it bringing light to it to help you decide to see the truths about yourself and the relationships? Is the subconscious being brought forward? Is it being brought to light? Is your true emotions being sh telling you what you honestly feel about the situation? And then are you acting appropriately within those relationships? Let's go into up close and personal. Up close and personal could be anybody. It could be your relationships, but it could also be it could be your relationships with your lovers, your spouses, but it could also be in the same form with the community around you. Your friends, your family, your parents, anybody who's very close and personal in your life. So what's going on in this area because like i said for you all i'm getting okay please up close and personal thank you wow let me get some clarification on this before i really go forward just because i'm curious what's going to come out of it because i get the emperor i get the hierophant and then i get the empress so, I mean, this is very powerful energy right now for you. But let me find out if it's more of you or the others around you. Okay, I'm not taking like seven cards that just fell out. Can you give me some clarification on this up close and personal for cancer signs? Up close and personal. Again, not taking like seven of them when they fall out. And did I flip you over? Sure did. Well, you're not supposed to be that way. I always keep my cards one direction, and I figure if Spirit wants it to be flipped over, it'll flip it over. So, up close and personal. I'll take the three, then. It is... Hmm. This is definitely someone outside of you. I mean, it is happening... Not to you. It's happening to you and the relationships um, in general. This has to do with the joint efforts within the relationships. Because on if you're getting this right information given to you. Like I said, you have the emperor and the empress. In one form, this could be lovers coming together with a hierophant. So this could be an absolute, you're finding the complete, you're complete. You're finding the absolute, complete, perf perfect union. Now, this could be the union of a relationship, but this could also be the union of, you know, a business relationship. Because you have the emperor, who is definitely an entrepreneur. You have the empress, which definitely, you know, knows her power, knows how to stand in her power, and is completely comfortable within that union. And then you have the Hierophant. So this is, you know, the building of also a possible successful relationship that could be, you know, financial as well. So this is either way. This is definitely someone highly with intelligence that's able to help launch you in the right direction is bringing a positive union to this relationship and is able to help you in that form. This is bringing knowledge to you. This is bringing intelligence to you. But this is not saying that you don't have it because you could be the emperor or the empress itself. So either way, this union is definitely a positive union. 
if you are definitely paying attention because you are getting domination, being able to take over the situation. This is dominating your comfort zone. It is Aries, Mars, and fire. Um, this is achieving that future success. And I did say that you would be seeing some success is what I was being given. But you are also being given the universe. So this is the end of a cycle and a brand new beginning. This is as the world turns, kind of. This is, you know, making that change and allowing that empress and empress and all of this to come into that healthy union. The union may not necessarily be showing itself yet. Or it may be showing that... The platform for it is there, but it hasn't fully been sacred and made concrete yet. But it is possible for it to be in that because you have the Wheel of Fortune, more or less. Not the Wheel of Fortune, but the universe in this one, which is bringing you to that. Bringing you to that very form of energy. And then you have the Queen of Discs, which in this deck is the Queen of Pentacles. <coughs> so this is finding that Finding how to nurture it, how to conjoin this energy, how to find security within this energy. This is partnership. This is wealth and prosperity. The queen of uh, pinnacles or discs brings this energy to you. So you definitely have a definitely positive ability within these relationships to go forward as long as you're choosing the right people because it needs to be that queen and that emperor with the high refined energy if they're not having those three combinations of energy you're in the wrong group and then you need to find the right group because you're you haven't quite gotten on point yet but as long as you're in that then it's taking you in the right direction whether it is love finances or just you know a relationship of some fort form within your memberships, your groups, your community. Something is there to help launch you and move you in a positive, healthy way forward. Now, tell me what's going on in ambitions, dreams, goals, finances for cancer. Tell me what is going on in ambitions, dreams, goals, finances for cancer. Is there anything else in this deck? Ambitious dreams, goals, finances. For cancer. I'm not taking that one, but I am taking this one. Ooh, very good. What I'm getting so far is the two of cups. So this is definitely a sacred union. Whether it's coming from the other and it's relationships that are moving into the financial, you know, goals, dreams, hopes, ambitions. So something is definitely sacred that is coming in here. As long as you are following your goals, your, I mean, your higher self, your higher dreams, your higher purposes, it's taking you in the right direction. And you should be finding this. Now, it could be because I'm under goals, dreams, ambitions. You could have had, like I said... Uh, the perfect partnership coming in, so to speak, you know, the uh, holy grail of partnerships, but it may be going in this direction as well. So maybe it's, you know, the two for one that's coming in together, possibly, or else it's just definitely the relationship that's there is helping to set those goals, ambitions, and dreams, which will actually bring you back to yourself and help you get everything else you want. You are getting the nine of discs, which is nine of pinnacles. This is gain. This is uh, good management. This is financial security. This is empowerment, improvement, um, settlements, good luck coming your way. So it's definitely a positive thing and you're getting the star. The star is also, you know, shining the light down on the situation and giving it hope for one, but I also connect the star in Hebrew to the hook, and this is saying you have to hook it. If you're not hooking it, then it's just shining a light on it, and it's going to go nowhere, because this is your part of the uh, uh, situation. You must hook it. When you go fishing and you throw your your line out there, you're not trying to get the smallest fish in the river or the smallest fish in the sea. No, you want the big fish. This means you must actually throw the hook out. You must throw, launch it out there and actually do your part. 
So what else am I getting in? In goals, dreams, ambitions, finances for cancer. This all looks really good for you. The only thing is you're questioning it. And if you continue, that's why I felt like I needed to say you had to hook it. If you are feeling like you're not going to get it, like you're not capable, you're not a, you don't have the ability, then you won't get it. If you are keeping yourself on all of these swords because you're afraid, you think you're trapped, you think you're not capable, you're thinking from a lower dimensional thinking, then you won't hook it. This is exactly why I was saying that. So this has to do with your thinking your ability to achieve it by believing in yourself. If you don't believe in what you are trying to do, then you won't do it. This is saying get yourself off of that form of thinking because as long as you pull yourself out of that thinking, you'll get those everything that you're trying to achieve. But if you're in that lower vibrational thinking, it's going to take you much longer to bring that, that happiness that you're trying to achieve forward. The sun. It is being illuminated for you. But I always say the sun card also, it's not just the brightest card or the happiest card. Because see, the sun has the way of illuminating what you believe. And if you believe in this, then that's what the sun will illuminate. It is up to you to make sure that you are putting your mindset into it properly. That's called free will. And you must will it for yourself. Or you won't get it. You must will that you are a blessing. Not a punishment. Because if you still see your life as a punishment. It still will continue to be one. So this is very important for that pivotal change right now. Is what I am getting. With that being said. I love you guys. Bye.